Okay, I hope that's working. Y'all, if y'all see this setup right now, y'all be like, girl, the struggle is real. <laughs> it's very real. Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Benny McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, I'm going to attempt to um, review the Body Glaze products that I currently own. Open up a new package from her last release with or last release with new scents um and then kind of rank them and let you guys know what i think you would enjoy which ones i think are the best also because she is dropping some new scents for valentine's day so i figured this would be a good time to get this out because um she's having a restock so before i get into that i have to thank my amazing beautiful incredible subscribers you guys are 10 out of 10 highly recommend i should have turned my phone on do not disturb just in case a call comes through Okay, I hope that did it. Um, so anyway, I don't remember what I was saying, but I love y'all. Y'all be holding it down. We should not be much longer on the phone. Um, yeah, it's a struggle, but <laughs> thank y'all for bearing with me. And I know my energy is not going to be on 10 today. It's a whole thing. But I still want to get this out as quickly as possible because um, I should have been did this. Um, and my hair, I'm sure, is still drying so anyway let's review the ones that i have worn so this one here is the i think this is the original one uh it's the one in the donut i have no idea if this is gonna show or zoom in or not it's a whole thing but uh this is the original one i believe the first one she came up with so this is it doesn't have a name. It just says body glaze icing for the skin. So I have used a significant amount of it. Okay. Here are my thoughts. I do like it. Do I think it smells like a donut? No. Do I think it smells like a sweet, can I say sweet vanilla? I don't think sweet vanilla, but it definitely has a gourmand kind of DNA to it, but it's not, um, it's not overwhelming or super foody or not like that like it's just a nice sweet i can almost give you like a cookie over a donut um this is what i should say too um the consistency of all of them is the same right so the good thing is no matter what even if you end up getting a scent you don't like if you enjoy the consistency of it it's streamlined it's all across they're all perform the same, have amazing consistency. Um, it's like a thick petroleum jelly because it's not quite like a body butter. I see why she calls it a glaze. It's not quite like a body butter. Um, and it's uh, thicker than like petroleum jelly or Vaseline. It's like a really, really thick um, Vaseline. Uh, so don't be afraid to dig in and to rub it on. I don't know if I've done this before. So, I don't know if this is going to show up or not, y'all. But, so, I actually grabbed too much. Let's see. I'm just going to use that much because I already put on lotion and stuff for the day. But, it goes on so smooth. I know, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it just, it goes on effortlessly. Um... So yeah, it's I don't think it's super offensive this particular scent. I think it's nice, sweet kind of cookie bakery so not bakery, but some type of sweet pastry. I'll give you that. Not donut, but it's nice. I'm going to say like a cookie more so. Um so this is the original icing for the skin. Let's do Pineapple upside down. Okay, I had really high expectations for this. I really wanted to like this one. Um, I think I was expecting like a sweet, juicy pineapple. And I... They leaned into the bakery foodie side of it more than I would have liked. Um, don't get me wrong, there's a pineapple scent there, but I just wish the pineapple was a little sweeter. And there's, 
an undertone of this that smells a little chemical to me. Especially once you start using it. Because you can't really smell it from the jar, but once you start using it, it's like there's something, an undertone of something chemically. That, that's not even a word, but y'all know what I mean. There's an undertone of something that I don't like or I don't enjoy. Um, but from the jar, you can't really smell it. Once you use it, it's like, what's that? And you, once you use it, you get more of the... um. Because pineapple upside down is a cake. And so I think they were trying to do the pineapple as well as the cake. But I would have just rather had a straight pineapple scent. I would have enjoyed it much more. And y'all didn't ask for this, but I wore this with, where is it? Hold on. With Angel Ice Star from, from Moogler. I actually did that as a nighttime scent one time. And that perfume, I woke up the next morning and I could still smell it. I said, okay. Okay. We gotta talk about it. Marshmallow toast. Okay. It's not good. It's not good at all. And I and I know she was saying you gotta like use it and you gotta warm up on your skin. It never did that for me. It literally and I again I don't know how well this is gonna come up, but I've used quite a bit of it. Um it smells like chemicals it smells like like i don't know it just it smells like the chemicals that you would use to make the fragrance and not fragrance itself it has no fragrant smell at all um and the chemical smell is almost kind of strong too like they really i think i'm sure there was a scent that they created i think it just ended up being really really soft and it end up getting drowned by whatever. And the only reason why I'm, I, I think the chemicals used to make it overpowered the scent. Now here's the thing: she has an unscented one, and I actually was able to smell it. One of my friends from work, she, um, somebody gifted her Siama, I think it's called the black and red one, which I skipped on because I assumed it would be a more masculine scent. I smelled it. It's actually really, really good. And it smells really, really nice. It's a nice unisex scent. It doesn't lean heavily one way or the other. It's actually really nice. And I kind of think I want it. But anyway, so someone gifted her that. And then she went on the website and bought the unscented one. And she brought it and let me smell it. And I was like, oh, this really, like, doesn't have a scent at all. Like, it doesn't smell chemically or nothing. I don't know why I keep saying chemically. It doesn't smell like chemicals or anything. I was like, it just doesn't smell like anything. This smells like chemicals, so I don't know what happened specifically, but this is, it's not good. Um, the only saving grace is, y'all know, pl I have plenty of perfume oils, so I can just do perfume oil on my skin and then put this on and rub that in. Because again, like I said, the consistency is still the same. The consistency is still good. So, I can use that and finish it up, um, but... It's not good okay this is the body glaze and birthday frosting okay let me smell again yeah this one i like this is like and if you this is what i would say i think it's like a sweet vanilla scent it's soft but it's sweet and it's pretty and i like it does it smell like birthday frosting it's giving a little birth a vanilla cake vibe a little bit right I like this. I like, I think this is a good base for your vanilla routines, whatever you're doing that's vanilla scented. I think birthday frosting is good. And I like it. And y'all know how I am about vanillas. And I actually like this. Um, <laughs> Baby, body glaze, drunken peach. Uh, we be all night. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Baby, Ooh, this here is good. In the jar, on the skin, everything. It's good and it gets stronger the more you let it sit. Drunken peach is a vibe. Drunken peach is a vibe. 
And I almost didn't get it because sometimes I get bored with peach scents because I feel like they kind of all smell the same at, at some point. It still is a peach scent, but it's something in here. It's something else in here that makes this really good. And when this was on my uh, January tray, I was like, let me use something else so I don't keep using it. Because, baby, this would have been gone. And I, I need to spend the block on this in the summertime. <laughs> okay, this is the one I didn't wear, and I, I'm not impressed to. This is Body Glaze Pumpkin Cupcake. This is another one that it smells chemical. <laughs> that chemical smell is here again on this one. Um, there is a, a remnant of a scent that smells a little bakery-like, but it's drowning from the chemical smell of it. It's not... Hold on, let me see if I can put some on my hand now. Baby, I don't know if y'all can see the shine from just when I put this on. I don't know if that's going to clear up or not, but babe. Yeah, mm -mm. I don't like that. It's, mm -mm. it's just smells like chemicals, straight chemicals. Okay, then Body Glaze Cream Puff, baby. This here, woo! To me, I think this is what I thought marshmallow, is that fair to say? I thought this was what marshmallow toast would smell like. Yeah, this is good though. Mm, 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 mm. Cream puff is actually a good name for it though. This is good though. This cream puff. If if I can describe the smell, um, I would have gave you even if she would have called this donut icing or whatever the first one is. Or the donut one. I wouldn't even gave it for this. It's definitely a sweet. But I think actually Cream Puff is a great name. It's sweet. And there's something else in here that makes it smell. Like there's a, a food in here. Maybe that's the. It's named right. I can't describe it, but it's good. It smells good. It's a little bit nutty too. That's what I'll say. There's something in here that makes it feel like it's a little bit nutty. Or maybe like almond or something in here. Or uh, some type of nut. But it's good. Actually, that's the time. And then lastly, strawberry shortcake. Let me tell y'all. I don't know if the dent is showing properly, but... Woo! Listen. So I... Two people I know have have this now because i was specifically the strawberry one because i was like you need to get it one person um she bought it on her own well i ordered it for her but whatever excuse me and then the other person i gave it to her as a gift i got texts from both parties that was like this is a problem this once she said she went out of town um, and she was in the house with her family or whatever, wherever they were. And she was like, every time she put it on, people got coming in her room like, what is that? What do you have on? Like coming in the room because they could smell it like it was taking over the room. Like they knew she was there. They knew she had put it on because they could smell it. And she was like, I had to stop wearing it because it was like causing too much commotion. The other one, she texted me, she said... I can't even tell you what she said. That's the type of problems it was causing. That's all I can say. So I want to really quickly rank. Yeah, I'm going to try to rank them. The ones that I have and I've worn. And then I'll show you the couple things that I got from the last order. So, ooh. Should I go from top to bottom or bottom to top? We'll go from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to say... Mm, hold on. I'm going to say the, the, work, the one... How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to say number seven is the pumpkin cupcake. Because not only does it not have a scent... 
but it kind of stinks. And even though the other one doesn't have a scent, it don't really stink, stink. Like, well, hold on. Hold on, I might have to recant that. Because didn't I put pumpkin cupcake on this hand? Hmm. Now that it's dried down, it's like, it doesn't have that stinky smell anymore. It's just kind of like, we tried to make a cupcake scent, but it didn't work. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I might have to change my testimony. Hold on. That's what I get for not wearing it. I don't like how it smelled in the jar, though. I ain't even gonna hold you. Okay. Yeah, okay, I changed my mind. Marshmallow toast is coming in last. I just put it on my skin, and it smells like paint. Like paint primer. You know how I didn't like the way that Naturium and the white bottle, how that one smelled? That kind of, this has that same smell to me. So that's... That's coming in at number seven, and then Pumpkin Cupcake is going to come in at number six. Honestly, though, these are both tied because they both have the same problem. They don't have enough scent, and so you're just left with this kind of, like, chemical smell. But then I guess on the dry down, maybe you can kind of get something. The only reason I'm going to put six, this one above this one, is because I get the slightest slightest faint of a smell on pumpkin cupcake and i don't get hardly anything on marshmallow toast i mean i don't get hardly anything on either one i just smell this one a hair more than this one but they both really are tied so that is seven and six five is gonna be pineapple upside down because i it just <sighs> Smelling it from the jar is deceiving. It's misleading because you're like, oh, this is going to be a good pineapple scent. Like, I was trying to smell like a pineapple fago. If you know, you know. And it just, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't stink. It definitely has a smell. You could, uh, I just think smelling it from the jar, what I was expecting. And then, yeah, putting on my skin, it's not. Mm -mm. And there's a a, a little a, a little after smell on that one too. But that one you can still smell the pineapple as the main. You can smell what they were trying to do at the top, but there's just underneath there's something there as well. The other two is just like you gotta search to smell what they were trying to do. The pineapple one you can clearly smell is at the top. Um, did I count wrong? I think I counted incorrectly. So there's eight. Please forgive me. So number eight is marshmallow toast. Number seven is pumpkin cupcake. Number six is pineapple upside down. Please forgive me. Correct. Oh, you know what? That pumpkin cupcake. But you got to get to the dry down to enjoy. So, yeah. My ranking is still correct, but I can definitely still smell something. But mm -mm, they dropped the ball, though. Okay. Number five is going to be the original. Um, It's not bad. It's good. It has a good scent. It smells nice. But I would be okay if I never repurchased this scent. Like... Does it serve a purpose? Yeah. Does it layer well with things? Yes. But, and it's nice and I do like it, but it's not currently on my must repurchase list. So that's why it's got to come in at number five. I feel like I'm counting wrong. No, but that's right. Okay. Top four. This is hard. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Number four is going to be birthday frosting. Now, the fact that it's even in the top four at all says a lot for me. Because y'all know I'm, I normally don't go up for scents like this. However, this is really good. It smell Once you smell it, you're like, okay, I can kind of get why they named it that. Um, 
and it, it seemed it's a good base it seemed like it will go well with everything your van vanilla routines your gourmand whatever like it's a good base for everything it's not overpowering um it's not too much it's just genuinely really really good and i could see myself repurchasing this Right, I could see this being a staple in the collection. So it being four is actually high praise, okay? Woo. Number three, we're going to say Drunken Peach, okay? This is hard. It was hard. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Yeah. Drunken Peach is going to be number... Drunken Peach is going to be number three because it is just a really, really good, sweet, fruity, peachy scent. Um, and I get why they call it Drunken Peach because there's something that draws you in and something that makes this not necessarily like, even though it's sweet and fruity, it's not juvenile. It's not immature. Like, it's still something grown woman about it. It's good. <laughs> And it really like, you know, Jimmy Choo, I want you. I wore this with one day with, was it Ruby Orchid from Flower Bomb? Like, it's genuinely a really, really good peach. Okay, now we're down to the top two. <sighs> okay, number two is going to be Cream Buff. Really good. Smells amazing. It's it's There's a warm and coziness to it. A warm and cozy and a little bit nutty. Like, I immediately want to wear this with Commodity Milk Expressive. I immediately want to wear this with Whipped Almond from the Mix Bar. I want to wear this with Jimmy Choo Illicit. Ooh. <laughs> that might be a problem. There, but there's something so warm and so cozy and inviting to Cream Puff that it just... I understand why this was always sold out. I understand. I get it. I get it. And then number one, it was there any doubt. The strawberry shortcake, it's a problem. It is a time. It has amazing performance. Like, I told y'all one day I put this on. I, I didn't put no other, um, you know, moisturizer on. I just put this and I put on perfumes. I think I wore Valentino Pink mixed with Yum Pistachio. Or no, I wore Valentino Pink with Burberry Hair Elixir. That's what I wore. Both of those have great performance. I still was smelling this three, four hours after I had showered. So strong. So, and this wasn't the thing I will say. This got stronger after I first used it and opened it. Because when I used, opened it the first time and smelled it on camera, I was like, oh, it's just okay. Maybe I had came back to it and it was so strong and it's long lasting. It has amazing performance. Like, it really just is that girl. And, woo! Is it shortcake? No, it's just strawberry. Strawberry. Woo! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time. So that is my ranking based on what is in my collection. And I feel solid about that list. Now, the last drop, I got some more stuff. What did I get? Oh, this is exciting. Okay. So I got another cream puff, but it's not for me. It's a gift. So that's to the side. So let's smell this. I'm excited. This is Body Glaze Scent from Heaven. I don't know what this is supposed to smell like. Um, She's just now getting around to doing notes. At first she said she didn't want to do notes, but she said she does have like fragrance notes for the stuff now. Having that said, I don't know what it is. Can't look it up, but... Let's see. I don't smell so much stuff now. Hold on. I don't know if I can even tell. Okay. I probably should have waited to do this. Okay, it does smell nice, but I'm getting a chemical thing again. It smells... It seems like what's in here is competing with the chemicals or whatever is used to create this, Right? Yeah, it's I, the lighter scents don't do well with her with the glaze. It's like it's competing and it's not keeping up. 
Uh, it's it smell what I'm smelling. It smells like just a nice, pretty, light, girly scent. I see why they named it that. I see why the decor is the way it is, or the like the the illustration is the way that it is. I get it, but if it's gonna be that, it's gotta be stronger in order to keep up with the yeah, cause it's like gone now. That's okay though. Okay, this is Coconog Bliss. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can put a little bit on. See what I'm getting. Okay. This is nice. It's definitely Christmassy, but I can smell it. Um. It's a little sweet. It's like... This is good, actually. It's softer, though. This is another one that's soft. But I'm, I'm as of right now, it's not competing with the chemicals. It's still doing okay. Um, This is kind of nice. I like this. My only complaint for that right now is I just wish it was stronger. Um, Then we have Hot Cocoa. <laughs> Which I am a little nervous about. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. I don't even have to put this on my skin. That is cocoa. That is chocolate. You know how I say eternal coffee, that Arabian perfume is like Tootsie Rolls on steroids? This is kind of in that same vibe. If you know you don't like super chocolatey things, don't get this. Because I can smell this from the jar. So, I, did I miss one in my ranking? Did I talk about this at all? No. Y'all. Why y'all ain't tell me I forgot one? So, <laughs> this is falling for you. Um... I can't, I can't believe I completely forgot this one. Oh, my gosh. So, to me, this smells like a version of um, Cherosa 62. Does it smell like a dupe of it? Not a dupe, but it kind of smells in that family, in that vein. So, for that reason, it wouldn't re be a repurchase. And when I was using it, I was getting a little bit of that chemical smell. Not overwhelming, but I got it a little bit. And I was like, well, if I have Shrosa 62, I have Sunset Sorbet from Victoria's Secret Pink. Like, I was like, I don't need this. Um, It smells nice, though. Or but maybe if you find the Shrosa, the Bum Bum Cream not moisturizing enough and you kind of want something in a similar DNA, maybe try this. But, so should I do, hold on. I'm still not going to include the ones I just bought because I haven't worn them. Where would this rank? So it's a total of nine now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I'm still going to say nine is marshmallow toast. Eight is pumpkin cupcake. Seven is pineapple upside down. Six is falling for you. Five is the original body glaze. Four is birthday frosting. Three is drunken peach. Two is cream puff. And one is strawberry shortcake. Okay. <laughs> I think we finally made it. That is all. Head over to the after party. Let me know what you think. If I plan properly, this should go up on Tuesday, um, the same day she's dropping her new scents, which I'll probably try to get my hands on. She did release body, um, I think she, body drops or something she calls them. To be honest, I'm just really not interested. Um, I can't, I, yeah, I'm just not really interested. She said that the, um, strawberry, if she was like, if you think the body glaze is strong, the body drops are strong too. Um, I don't know if I really believe that. I think it's a smart next step for her to go from the drops to the body oils. That's only the natural evolution. Like it makes sense. She should do it. Um, 
that's smart business woman, all the things, but I just kind of, I'm kind of not interested, and especially because I have so many body oils, I have so many body butters too, but the body glaze just got my heart right now, but, um, I definitely, I just am not interested in body drops, but the body glazes, yes, um, but that's all I have, y'all, head over to the after party, let me know what you think, thank y'all for P.O.P. holding it down with the, and me and my all my <laughs> whatever's going on um i love y'all all so much i'll see you in my next one